Okay, to start our beef wellington, we're going to need to use a tenderloin of beef, which is in the form of a uh, tenderloin roast. This is about a two pound roast. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil. We're going to put this into a uh, uh, saute pan and we are going to sear this meat. So on uh, medium high, and about uh, two tablespoons of oil to thoroughly coat the pan and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our prime our, uh, what we're going to do is take our tenderloin roast and we're going to lay that down into the uh, olive oil and uh, we're going to uh, sear this uh, off and after I've done all the sides come back and uh, we'll take a look at this and uh, I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, now the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to take some French Dijon mustard and we're going to uh, thoroughly coat this roast. Then we're going to set this aside for about 15 minutes and let the uh, tenderloin roast rest for, for about 15 minutes. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and start preparing the filling. All right, for the next step to uh, create our filling for our beef fillington, we're gonna put in some baby bella mushrooms and about two tablespoons of uh, roasted pine nuts and two tablespoons of garlic along with about a tablespoon of salt, a couple of rounds of black pepper, and to kick this up a little bit, I like to use a little bit of white truffle oil. Just maybe a, about a teaspoon brings out some of the pizzazz to this. We'll put the uh, top on the Cuisinart here. And we'll just uh, mix all this up until it's. Uh, thoroughly blended and when I'm finished with that we'll come back now in a dry pan what we're going to do is, and this is very important to get all the water out of these mushrooms is we're just going to cook these down with the garlic black pepper white truffle oil and try to get as much of the water out of this as possible and once that has been accomplished we'll set this aside to cool but this is going to be our, our stuffing for our beef wellington we're not using pate or foie gras it's just stuff's just not good for you and there's nothing in these mushrooms that's going to hurt you the beef wellington's probably got enough fat in it anyway well, let's let this go here for a couple more minutes and we'll come back and i'll show you how to assemble the beef of wellington okay so now what we're doing is we're laying down some pajuto, which is a kind of salty Italian ham. And this you need to lay out on some uh, cling wrap. And as we get this all laid up, we'll come back and I'll show you what the next step is. Now we've got our uh, pajuto laid out here. And we're gonna take with a spoon our mushroom filling and just we're going to lay this out onto the uh, ham. And then we're going to spread this out thin using the back side of our spoon. Okay, now that I've gotten the uh, mushroom filling 
in place. What I want to do is I just want to lay up my fillet ro roast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to roll the ham up onto this cling wrap so that I completely encase my roast with this ham like such and I'll just cut that right across there like that and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this and squeeze this tightly and uh, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and let it rest and then we'll come back and put together the pastry casing We've got our uh, pastry, puff pastry all laid out here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place our ham covered beef wellington and we're going to roll this pastry right around this plastic wrap. tight as possible and then what we'll do is we'll cut that and the beauty of this is you can prepare this the night before keep it in the refrigerator and then when you get ready to cook it it'll all be ready for you and what you just want to do is just tighten this up so that you've got a nice cylinder of the beef wellington looks something like that so let's put this in the fridge and we get ready to put it together i'll show you the next step all right so now we're getting ready to place our beef wellington into the oven and i've taken an egg yolk i've beaten it up and uh, i'm just going to brush the uh, puff pastry with a little bit of this uh, egg yolk and uh, this will give it a nice finish to it uh, just for a little bit of uh, decoration here what we can do is just take a knife and uh, just put a little, a little mark on there like that and then we can just take and run that knife like that put a little decoration on that and then what we'll do is we'll pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes and we'll come back and take a look at it. Look at that folks. That is a beautiful piece of beef wellington. Pink in the center. Had the nice uh, mushroom stuffing. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a fabulous dinner. I'll slice one of these off. I'm going to plate this thing up. Take a little bit of our uh, demi glaze sauce. You may have seen in an earlier video. Put that on there. Plate that up with a nice, nice twice baked potato. And I'll tell you what, you've got a real meal there. It's Glenn the Ball Chef, and as always, bon appetit.